Hello everyone, it's Lorelai again. Welcome back. You know, I got to thinking after I finished that very ferret video that I just kind of really popped over that that uh, pillow top uh, tip very quickly and I thought I would just do a little more detail on that because it's a great technique. A lot of people enjoy that and they want to take it and use it on, on pillows, on wall hangings, and quilt blocks. Uh, anywhere that you can apply this, it works really well and you usually have a success no matter what. So I'll show you quickly exactly what I do to create that top piece. So the first thing I do when I'm doing a pillow, I start with my pillow. I measure my pillow. This is going to be 11 inches. And so what I do is I cut my backing, which will be the foundation of my work. I cut it just a hair bigger, like say 16th of an inch, because I don't like them to be too loose and sloppy. So that's what I do, I cut it almost the same size. And I use, this is a very inexpensive Pellon backing. It is a heavy weight so that it can uh, be a good foundation for this, this work. So I've cut my 11 and a smidgen piece here. I'll use this little board here for my display. And then I'll take this little block. This is Sunshine Fairy. She's one of my extras from my having made my quilt. And uh, I just kind of lay her on there crooked. You can put them straight, put them this way, that way, any way you like. And so I will do it, I think, this way. Okay, then I take, as I told you, I keep my two inch strips in a drawer, file by color, and I have already prepared my my little tray of delights here this is like a little little pastry tray with little crumpets on it from the bakery they're so sweet all these lovely colors so i just start going i think i'll start with yellow i'll take my cue from the yellow in the block and what you do is you just start going up and down the sides like this and you lay it on the side of the block stitch very very narrow just a just a, a 16th of an inch or so turn it back and press real quick and so I'm not going to press them here because I'm doing this just as a demo. Here, maybe I'll do it on this side. And the yellow one there. And then I'll pick another yellow one that's kind of related because, and then I start at the very beginning, I start real tight and I move out at an angle. So I get an angled piece of the stripe. See, now I'm going to do, how about this polka dot? You start tight in down at the bottom and now you're going to be like this, of course. And then you flip it over, see? But I'm just laying it out here so you can see. And then maybe this other yellow one here. This is a different yellow. Until you have your edge covered. Make sure you have your edge covered out there. Okay, now I'm going to go across the bottom. I think I'll use green because I think of green grass at the bottom, you know, like so. And I would mention too, when you flip them over and press, try not to press your backing because it's kind of, uh, it kind of melts and wiggles around. So you don't want to do that. So just try to stay right on your seam and all you need is a little bit. And that will take out your, pretty much your wrinkles that are in your strips. Here, how about this nice little scrolly effect. You can put as many or as few as you like. I like it kind of, you see I'm coming together here because I want to go up with another flare from that point right there. And maybe, let's see, will I do, I will do some pinks here or maybe some lilacs. No, I'll do some pinks. So this is going to be a, a peach. Just clip off just a little tiny bit of that. And maybe I'll go into some pinks. And you don't don't uh, spend a lot of time agonizing over it, you know, just try it. And if you don't like it, take it off. You can always rip it off if you sewed it, or you can just change it uh, right on the spot. How about some lilac on the top? I'm trying to keep them a little bit separate so I could accomplish that effect I told you where the colors don't run together. They're just kind of, um, there's a kind of order in there, though it's a real uh, good 
interesting combination of things okay and you just go like see i'm off here you got to make sure you get over there and get that edge get it all covered okay that's how you do it and then when you get it all covered and it's all pressed you flip it over and edge stitch just around the back the very tight edge of that pellon and then you trim off the excess and you've got your beautiful beautiful uh, pillow top and in this case you would just uh, put your backing on there and bind it and you're done and it's a very simple project a lot of fun and you just about can't miss and hopefully you have a lot of fun things in your stash to combine with new things and uh, old things and it'll just be a delight for you so i hope that this little video has helped you uh, with this technique and that you will get to use it yourself here soon in your creative activities. So thanks again for coming. See you next time.